All right, well, anyways, I figured why I got this bad boy out. We'll do a quick review on this thing. One of my toys I got here, it's a Pioneer 704. So it's the four seater version of the 700cc. Uh, main reason I got it is because it was, there wasn't a lot of selection where I was looking and um, I didn't really want the 1000 because I heard some guys were having trouble with the transmissions. I think the 1000 CC is just too much for these transmissions. That being said, this has the same exact transmission, but obviously uh, 300 CCs less. So I'll do a quick review on this thing. Got to have one of those first. But anyways, standard tires that came on it. They're decent. They suck off road or on road, but they're good. They're good off road. Here's the. Let's see if I can't get in here. This is the back seat configuration. So not too bad. It's only a two seater back there. I've fit three up here many a times. Um, so it will fit five. I don't know if that's how they drew it up. I don't know if there's any legal stuff, but you probably shouldn't be on the road anyways with them, right? I don't think that's legal to begin with. But say so you got this uh, this little no bed here when you got passengers, but these these fold down all the way on both sides, so it makes it for a nice bed. But then again, you're back to a two or three seater. I wish they made this out of something a little bit more sturdy than plastic but that's okay i don't really intend on hauling pallets of concrete so i think we'll be all right i mean i've loaded it down pretty good i actually hook this 16 foot trailer to this a lot of times around the property i have another 10 footer that i use too but if i'm just trying to move a bunch of lumber around or whatever stacking stuff up or you know just really adjusting a trailer where I have it, maybe my truck can't get to it well, uh, I'll just move it around with that thing and it makes makes life easy. Maybe I'll show you the little gauge clusters and stuff in here. It's nothing special. A lot of the other ones I've seen are a lot nicer, but you know, see so you got pretty much everything you need. 922 miles on it, I've only owned it for a year, so I obviously use it. Um, temperature, how many hours? I got 155 hours on it. Um, it they, they recommend you maintain it every 600 miles. I just recently did a maintenance on it, so the countdown continues. Um, or I guess it's 100 hours or 600 miles, so um, still got 88 hours. And fuel, so nothing too tricky there. I put this boss system in with those two speakers, it's the only thing I've actually added to it. Um, gotta keep a shell around, I guess. So yeah. And uh, maybe we'll talk tow safety for a second. I feel like a lot of people struggle with these things and towing and anything on wheels is kind of difficult. I know with my, with my Harley, um, sometimes, you know, those straps want to come a little loose after the first few miles. So I usually just drive about five, six, 10 miles, whatever, and then stop off and retighten uh, to make sure she don't tip over. But someone's got a trick to make sure that the straps never come loose after you ride down the road a couple miles. Let me know, cause I've never figured out how to get that right. Um, look at that, crossed or not crossed? I usually cross, didn't cross them today. So we'll go ahead and cross them up. I don't know if it really makes a difference. Continuing on, I always keep a pin in here. I feel like that's muy importante, because uh, if that ever comes loose, and especially if you have your load loaded heavy towards the back, forget about it, trailer's coming off, you're in deep duty. Uh, luckily, I've never forgotten that or had one of those come loose, and I tow an awfully lot, so that's that i usually use my other connector but it's on my other trailer the round connector and the adapter because i hate on these dodges this thing is the spring is so tight it just like pinches the whole wiring harness and all up in there i'm not a big fan of that but anyway so what i typically do is i pull it over the axles i usually put it i tongue load it and put it more towards the front than directly over the axles 
because it's not that heavy, so I don't worry about tongue weight. But I usually put one strap up here in the front over this little uh, ranch hand bumper, brush guard deal, whatever. It's, mount it's bolted directly to the frame, so I figure it's sturdy. And I get one strap pulling forward towards the front of the trailer. And then I come back here and I use another strap pulling towards the back of the trailer. Uh, that's just kind of how I've always done it. I always keep my ratchets on the driver's side because I feel that it's much easier for me to see um, my straps loose. Usually the first indication is that this thing being a little heavier will start to sag down and I'll be able to see that in my mirrors so I know to pull off and tighten things up or see that something's coming loose. I also, when I tie my, my straps, I run them back through these hooks so that way if it does come loose, it's less likely to fall off the side of the trailer. It'll usually just lay down here on the deck um, and if that comes loose, well, I guess it is what it is. Hopefully it don't fall off and get tied up in the wheel. Um, but never had that happen, but I've heard of it. Uh, same thing up here. I do the same thing. After I pull it forward, I run this strap through this hook, tie it up here so that uh, I hopefully don't lose the strap if it comes loose. But that's about it. That's all I do. That's in drive, parking brakes on. Yeah. So always make sure your lights are working. Make sure that the uh, guy driving a forklift to load material on here always drives into the back lights because they're really good at that. So just make sure they do that so that shit's busted and you can get pulled over for no reason. Or not no reason, but missing one little warning light there. I've probably replaced them things about four times and I've only owned this trailer for a year. Because, uh, you know, Home Depot and Lowe's and all them, they make a big deal about guys getting certified on a forklift. Oh, I can't do it. I'm not certified. I got to go find somebody that's certified to load the damn thing. They bring you a certified forklift driver and he just rams your damn trailer every single time he needs to load something and god forbid loading something over the side they won't even think about it so if you got something super heavy like a pallet full of damn cinder blocks they're just going to throw it right here on the back they're not even gonna they're not even gonna try to get it up front for you but that's that's besides the point uh, i guess i'll get off of that but yeah so far so good new truck running strong like 1200 miles already uh, in just a few days there so we're gonna go put some more miles on the truck and some more miles on this honda and have us a good old time beautiful day here in central florida look at that you couldn't even paint the clouds up there better like and subscribe peace